Yay, the Google Tag Manager team has come out with a new feature that makes our life easier in Google Tag Manager. Let's take a look at it right now. All right, back in our Google Tag Manager account, we have a new feature available, and this is really available inside of a custom HTML tag. So if you click on new here and go into a new creation of a custom HTML tag, you know that you can use variables within this custom HTML tag as well by typing them in with these two curly brackets. Now what's new when I start typing the two curly brackets is that I get this menu, this quick select menu, where I can choose my existing variables that I have defined inside of my variables. And this is very useful because we need to choose the exact same name that we have in the variables as we have them defined in our variable menu. So if you make any kind of mistake, we will not be able to execute our custom HTML tag correctly. So I often found myself going back and forth saying, okay, I don't really know the exact variable name, looking into the variable menu saying, okay, this one is the variable I wanna choose, copying this name and then inputting that into my custom HTML tag, which is obviously something that you can now easily avoid with this new curly bracket method. So just choose that from the menu here and it will auto complete it in your variable menu. So this is the new feature of the custom HTML window to insert your variables through an autocomplete function. All right, so there you have it. This is the new feature within Google Tag Manager. This is kind of bittersweet for me because if you remember last year, I came out with a Chrome extension that exactly did this uh, really query the Google Tag Manager API and then pulled out all your variables so you can insert them with a right click in your custom HTML uh, interface. Now, this is obviously now obsolete and you can do it right from the interface. So that's a great addition, I think. And in the end, I will use this feature a lot. And I'm also really happy that they built it in natively into the application. So it makes our life inserting these variables much easier. Now, I'd be also interested in your opinion. Just let me know in the comments below what you think about this new feature. And if you like this video, then please give us a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel right over there because we'll bring you new videos just like this one every week. Now, my name is Julian. See you in the next one.